Okay, hi there. I'm going to show you a bit about what I did to hack the Desire to Learn ePortfolio tool to turn it into a bit more of a robust presentation tool. Um, as it is, the tool is quite robust, um, but it doesn't really have a lot of um, opportunities to bring content in, to embed content, and to create a really professional display. Um, but it's getting there. So, and I should note that this is using the D2L ePortfolio version 2.0.1.1.5. Um, and you'll see course link here. That is the University of Guelph branding of the online learning environment. So, um, basically, where we're going to get to through a series of these um, screencasts is something that looks a little bit like this. Um, so these are all real hack jobs. Um, even things like the stylings around some of the navigation bars, um, embedding some feeds, um, embedding some pages, that type of thing. So let's talk about how I built this thing. All right, so first off, let's see here. So let's look at the presentation that we were just looking at. And this is the dashboard here. So we'll go into the edit screen and I'll show you some of the stuff that I did. Um, under content and layout, you'll see here on the finished presentation that we've got these little bars in between. Um, those aren't things that are able to be inserted. They have to be clutched and hard coded in. So you'll see here that I put those bars on every other one. So that's just a little quick trick. Um, what else have I done? So let's start with page one here. I have basically had to bring in um, stuff from other sources, basically tricking the program um, because it won't allow for iframes, but it will allow for object tags. So this exists on another page, um, my personal page at the university. Uh, it's just got a widget box feed on that page. And let me show you how you could probably bring it in if you were interested. So um, let's go here to that page. I just happen to know that it's in this page, this content area. And if we look, And we have to look at the HTML view to see what's there. So this is essentially bringing in an iframe, but um, the D2L editor will strip any iframe tags out for security. So I'm bringing in something from here, which is my own page, and I've called it an object. Um, I'm bringing in this text, and I've defined the height and the width. So we'll hit cancel. You can't really preview anything, so you're kind of operating blind. But that will transfer over to the presentation. And it's bringing this in. Now you'll notice with all of these pages that uh, they contain unauthenticated content. Um, let me just show you here. Yeah. Warning, contains unauthenticated content. Oh no! So Firefox tells you that this is happening, but it doesn't do anything about it. Similarly with Chrome and uh, Safari, it seems to be okay. Internet Explorer doesn't like that at all. So, gotta stop now and I'll talk more about some other stuff later.